So today I want to show you how to get your paint from the pot into the far better to use dropper bottles. So here's a list of things you're going to need. The paint that you want to transfer, a dropper bottle, I use 20 mil ones from either Amazon or Wish, thinner of your choice. I'm using Vallejo airbrush thinner but for any acrylic paint water will work just fine. A cocktail stick or something to mix the paint with, a pipette, an old paintbrush, a hobby knife and some tweezers. Now let's get this started, grab your paint, give it a good shake, get the lid off, add some thinners and stir it with your cocktail stick. As for how much to add, it's completely down to you but I usually go for a pretty free flowing consistency just to make the process a little bit easier. Now grab your dropper bottle, take the lid and the little tip off and start transferring paint using the pipette from the pot into the new dropper bottle. I'm going to speed this up a bit as it takes quite a few quite a few passes through but um, as you'll see towards the end as I start to add a little bit more thinner use the paintbrush try to get as much paint off and into that bowl as possible through almost any means possible so we're almost there but there is quite a bit of paint still inside the pipette so grab your tweezers pinch from the top and roll all the way down until we extract as much paint out as possible this can be really really fiddly and as you can see I get paint everywhere so try not to do the same so now that's all done and hopefully you haven't got paint all over your workbench like I have, stick the nozzle on, stick the lid back on, grab your hobby knife and carefully cut out the label for your paint, stick it on your bottle and then it's time to add it to your collection. Now you can use dropper bottles for everything, I've got my metallic paints in there, my contrast paints in there and even some technical paints in there and what's quite handy is we now have the empty citadel pots to use for stuff like dry pigments and various other things. I can't stress enough how beneficial it is to have these paints in these dropper bottles. It might take a bit of time, it may get messy in some places, but once it is done, it is 100% worth it.